Hey guys, quick video here. Welcome back to the channel. So this video is literally me going out shooting on my iPhone 13 and I'm gonna take, the aim is to take dark and moody shots. This is the first video. The second video I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I edit these shots to get that dark and moody vibe. Before we get into this, please like, please share and please subscribe to the channel. All right, let's go. So I'm gonna get another one here on the wide angled lens. Same thing, we're gonna turn it upside down. We've got a few people coming, we'll try and get them in the shot as well. And what we'll do as well, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use those lines, the yellow lines are the leading line, to we'll try and capture that. Nice. So again, I'll put these on screen so you can see. And then we'll walk a bit further down. So I'm gonna walk towards Tower Bridge, but I'm just gonna get a shot of this here, Shad Thames on a wide angled lens. There we go, I'm gonna do a few lower as well. Yeah, I love that. So, so we're at Shad Thames, we've got Tower Bridge there, just to our left, but we're gonna take this alleyway here and get some shots down there. It should take us down to the riverbed, but because it's raining, I'm not gonna go too far down because of the mud as well and everything. So as you can see, there's a few people down there already, but we'll get some shots from here. Actually, I might stop here because I don't know if you guys can see that mud on the ground. You know what? You have to sacrifice, so let's do it. So just a few from here. Again, we're gonna go down low, take some shots. Looking up. I know you guys can't see it, but I'll show you this on the screen anyway. Just love that angle there. All right, we're gonna get some loads of stones We're upside down. Get some stones. Yeah, I absolutely love that one. I hope you guys can see it. But again, I'll show you it on the video anyway. So as I'm on the bridge, I'm just gonna get one landscape mode shot of everything. So you got the sky garden to your right, the shard to your left and a few other buildings. So I'm just gonna try and capture that hole. Nice. So I know you guys can't see it, but I'm shooting the shots, firing them off. Guys, I'm really loving them actually. Um, I know you didn't see me take the shot, but I'll show you them on the screen. Cool, all right, let's go. So guys, I've walked a bit further down. And there's a shot that I wanna get. I got this shot here before um, at night when it was raining, there's a reflection of the sky garden. 
on one of these pillars here so i'm going to try it again it's so literally reflecting i don't know if you guys can see the sky garden up there onto one of these pillars let's try it let's do it so most of the shots i've been shooting have been with the wide angled lens and i'm probably going to stick to that but let's see how it goes so i'm getting loads of reflections already but we'll try this one here already love that if i can hold the camera still love it this is going a little bit yeah amazing so as you can see the sky garden reflecting onto this pillar here i just want to get one more because this looks really cool so i'm at the edge of this pillar and i'm just reflecting everything sky garden that church steeple nice we zoomed in a bit lovely all right so we're gonna walk down by the river side and see what we can get down there does look cool guys is the shard reflecting wow all right there we have it so i'm going for a full puddle shard reflection wow Just absolutely love that so yeah guys these are the steps here we're just going to play around with some angles and stuff So we've got some nice reflections in there. Oh, sorry. No, no, it's all good. It's all good. Thank you. So I'm literally loving the framing, the reflections, and the people. guys I just want to get London Bridge Station shard and all sorts yeah. 